Uh, I think we're in the right spot right now. Uh, we keep on building each week, keep on getting better each week, um, holding each other accountable each week, and um, just having executing each week, just reading each other keys, and just building that chemistry so we can play well at the end of the season. I mean, you think you know all the the intangibles, the chemistry, the leadership, all that stuff is, is certainly in place. Oh yeah, it's, it's by online. Uh, we on the tracks right now. We're just getting better each week. Uh, we get to know each other a little bit better each now. Uh, it seems like we don't need coaches as much as we did last year on the field. So uh, I think everybody knows their job and they're executing their keys. So we on we on point right now. Bob, what does it do for a defense to have a series like y'all had at the end of the game last last week where y'all were successful? What does it do for the defense down the road? to know you sort of face that moment of truth? It's growth. Um, like I said, we, we know these, we know each other very well now. The bond that we build, uh, especially from last year, those last three games, uh, just growth in each week. Uh, we trust in each other, holding each other accountable. Everybody do their job. Individual player like yourself to make a play like you did in the corner of the end zone there on one of those plays, what does it do for you? I mean, obviously you've made some plays here and stuff, but. You know, season's kind of on the line right there. Right, it's just expected. Uh, those guys look for those plays for me like that. So yeah. I just want to make those big plays for the guys and this coaching staff and Buckeye Nation. Vaughn, uh, Coach Fickle said earlier today that, that they specifically designed the defense to, to put more pressure on you, to give you more responsibilities. Do you look at that as like a badge of honor, something you maybe have, you've earned that opportunity to have more put upon you? Yeah, I did. Uh, certainly, uh, I asked for what Coach asked. I told him, put me on the island. I'll get the job done for you. So that's what I did for these guys. Uh, when did you? When did that conversation take place? Oh, they've been talking about it all year. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> so he's just waiting for the right time and um, really just executing a uh, two to the flat. And I know these guys have been running a uh, sail ride on us. That's a quarter beater. Yeah. And I told the coach I want to take it away. So I had no chance, and that's what I did. Uh, you know, when y'all lose Gary and, and Marshawn's your nickel and he goes in to play Gary's, but y'all, even in nickel, y'all stayed in pretty much base defense, didn't you, from a personnel standpoint? Uh, and part of that was you going into the slot there and stuff. I mean, right. what do you what do you think y'all kind of proved to yourself from that standpoint the other night? You understand what I'm saying? Right, uh, yeah, we got a little depth uh, issue right there, but we, we knew it was getting third and short, so they was going to run the ball. So yeah. we had to stay in base personnel. It's going to be hard to sub indie package on the field with all their tempo when they get the first down and off the field. So uh, it's the next man up. Marshawn's ready to play, so he executed what he had to do. Vaughn, we think the last couple of weeks teams have tried to run inside against your defense. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're afraid to try to run outside with the way you guys pursue out there? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really challenged us yet, but I know a team will, and we just we go prepare for it like no one did before. When, when, it, how good do you think you guys are when teams do try to get to the edge or try to run outside against the pursuit you guys have? I think we got a lot of speed. And we could run down anything. So especially with Dan Lee and Joey out there, yeah, Gary and Conley, these guys just pursuing to a ball. So I don't think no team got outside on us. What do you what do you know about the William Likely kid? You know, you've seen him. He's a good return guy and stuff. What stands out about his game that you've seen a little bit so far on video? He won't be a playmaker for that team. Uh, he got a lot of energy, a lot of passion for that team. And he won't do the most out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a dynamic returner. So we're gonna have to get. A lot of guys down the field on them, uh, a couple of athletes, so take their out of the return. So, you know, I'm going to do some more film uh, after this uh, interview, so yeah. we'll get to it. When you go going against a team like this, though, they've scored six points in the last two games, you know, got shut out at home the other day and stuff. Do you, what do you expect from a, you know, as a player? Do you expect a, a desperate team coming in here? What do you, you know, a team that's going to pull out all its stops? What do you kind of expect from them, I guess, in general? I expect they're going to play the best football because we're the Buckeyes. Uh, we're number one team in the nation, so they go pull out all stops. You know, they go play the best against the number one team. Juan, describe your relationship with Titus. Describe it. It's a unique relationship. You know, we hold each other accountable. I know he dropped a pick, and he said I started it or whatever. But I said, no, don't point the finger at me. But, you know, we hold each other accountable. It's a real good relationship. That's like my brother on the other side of the field. We always got each other's back. So um, we always talk before the play. We know what play that's coming. I'm like, watch what got my back right here. And we just got a unique relationship uh, on and off the field with his parents and my parents, you know, we're like a big family. Did anybody trip at you on the uh, on the special teams play where you weren't, weren't able to keep it out of the end zone on the touchback? Oh, no, he didn't get mad at me about that. I, don't, I, I got mad at myself about that, but we'll get that off the field. I'll fix it. What, what were you mad about? You just didn't just pull the ball into you? Or what, what, were, you, what were you mad about? Because obviously Bryce ran into you. Right. I, I was like, Bryce, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have held on to the ball. I had the ball in my hands. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. but it slipped out. So. Hey, but, you know, when, when their quarterback, though, went 79 on you guys and stuff, did you, you know, did you think y'all were past that as a defense of, 
giving up a play like that. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, and is that a teaching moment, humble humble pie moment? And what 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 do y'all learn from that, for example, going forward as a defense? A play like that, I'm supposed to play like that, and then can happen. Yeah. Uh, you always got to have leverage to defense. I know we missed two tackles on that play. Yeah. I should have kept the leverage on the defense. Uh, Coach Coach Ash gave me minus on my sheet for that. Yeah. And uh, but it's it's something to learn from. The guy came in there. He wanted to provide uh, energy and passion for that. He made a play. Uh, he was out the gate. So we got to fix that and get it off field. Hey Vaughn, you talk about getting better every week, and that you say the defense has been doing that. That would mean that last week was your best defensive performance. Last week. Because I mean, if you're getting better every week, then doesn't that by definition mean that your Indiana performance would have to be your best one? It probably was. You know, we were playing sound football with a few plays, a few explosive plays. Uh, but really on film, we were playing almost to the best defense we've been playing all year together. Uh, and I'm very proud of that. And these coaching staff is very proud of that to see it on film. And what can we get better at? And we'll get better each week. Vaughn, the uh, pass you knocked away in the end zone, what's your thought as – Look like he's breaking wide open in the corner of the end zone. And, and as it was pointed out to me, you had great closing speed on that play to get in position and knock it away. Just what's going through your mind, I guess, at that moment that I've got to get there and make the play? I know they had two routes. Uh, they were running on the safety right there. Me and Coach has been talking about it all week. And uh, my message to him was they're not going to catch the ball on me and just sit back up there in the box and relax. <laughs> and that's what I did. So it was just all hats off to him and watching film with him. So. And I just made the play at the end for him. And what was your view on the final play? It, it sounds like Eli knocks the ball away from Jones. Just what? Uh, where were you at? I assume you were back in the scrum as well. And just what? what yeah, I was, look, I was looking for work. Uh, I was in the middle of the field, just looking for work. I thought the guy was gonna keep on running. I seen the quarterback just throw a hand grenade up, and then we, and Eli batted the ball away. He was lucky and get a penalty on that one for holding the guy. But. Uh, it was just a sign of relief. Uh, the defense stood it out, and we took the challenge, and we, we stepped up to the challenge and made the play. Has lack of confidence always been a problem for you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, oh, no. What does it do for Eli? Eli had, obviously, a pass and first call on that, on that drive and stuff. But mm -hmm. you know, it looks like more and more against y'all's press coverage, wide receivers are trying to body up with the, with the defender and stuff. So what are the, I guess what are the learning moments or teaching moments uh, as you go forward for like a corner like Eli to, to deal with that kind of tactic. Right, I know Eli got one and Marshawn got one early when yeah. he was in. Uh, I just told him to keep playing. You know, those guys, they go challenge you to throw, and that's what they've been doing. They're trying to throw a back a back shoulder fade on them yeah. in the uh, middle of the field looking for a P.I. or whatever. But I just told him to keep on playing. The play is going to be made. Um, you brought fear for this moment. You're here for this moment. So keep on playing. Um, and just don't worry about the the flag. We go. We will get off the field in three and out. So when Eli makes the knockaway on the last play of the game, I mean, what what you, you know, you're there. What does it do for a guy like that? You know, who's just early. You know, you understand what I'm saying? What does it from a confidence standpoint? What does it do for him? Uh, it does a lot. Uh, you know, uh, he been challenged all day. Uh, people been throwing that that throwing him all week, uh, all last week too. Uh, people been seeing it on film, but they go keep on challenging him. I just tell him just keep on playing. Uh, he gonna keep on building confidence, and that's what he likes that people challenge him so he can make plays. Hey Vaughn, you're gonna, more questions. You're gonna face a, a Maryland team that's been trying to find itself and has been experimenting with different lineups and everything. Is it harder to face a team that you think you know what you're going to see and don't see that, or this where you just don't know what to expect? Period. I really don't know what to expect, but I know we gonna get the best ball they go play all year. Because um, they always want to knock off the number one uh, team in America. But, like, you just can't really go off film what you see now. Because they're going to pull all the hats and all the stops, all the magic tricks, all the, all out their pockets. I know that's going to come, but we just got to be patient and disciplined. Vaughn, with the defense you guys play, do you have to accept that they're going to try to hit some back shoulder stuff on you guys? Is that one of the ways to attack this? And really, I mean, it, what can you do? Right. We're so aggressive. Um, we just got to be more disciplined with our eyes and keys and just um, just keep on playing aggressive, keep on playing. Uh, the, the penalties go come. It's football. So, uh, yeah, I got to tell Eli quit holding or whatever, but he going to keep on playing this game. I'm not going to tell him what to do. But um, we going to have the confidence back there. We just got to read our keys and stay disciplined because we know the double moves going to come too. They're going to try to attack the safeties in the corner, so we'll keep on playing. And they finally made the official announcement on Saturday that you guys are wearing the black jerseys for Penn State. What do the guys think of the black uniforms that are coming? Uh, I, don't, I don't really care about it. I just want to win. That's <laughs> all I care about, uh, putting points on the board and just holding the guys out. But I guess it's going to be nice. It's going to be a blackout for Penn State, so 
We'll go put it on the shelf for you. Fun, yeah, but past that, uh, you talk about a while ago staying off Twitter and things like that, you know. There are a lot of people out there right now who are looking at just last several games and there are critics rising. Yeah, y'all are still number one in the polls, you know, and stuff. Do y'all feel like uh, y'all still have things to prove in this season? That you obviously you haven't played your best game and stuff, but what, what, what sort of missing do you think has been missing the last several weeks? Uh, just starting out fast, like we usually do. You know how the offense usually come out fast, putting seven points on the board. Uh, and defense shutting them out, getting the ball right back to them. They're just putting points on the board and putting points on the board. Yeah. And it's just starting off fast. We start off a little sluggish at first, but uh, we just go come together as a team and you'll go get it right.